Hello and welcome back. So today, some kings are gonna blow up. This map stinks. This map's garbage. What is this? Why is this map looking at me? Leave me be. Imagine this one had an eyeball as well. I'd be a little bit paranoid. Okay, what we're doing today is pretty simple. We're gonna have the four races fight, but we're going to always give their kings a little cheeky little trait called death nuke. It means when they die, there's a nuclear explosion. The king for the humans, the king for the elves, the king for the dwarves, and the king for the orcs. Everyone is now cursed with death nuke. Everybody has their little quirks. Some people have big thumbs, some people have weird laughs, and some people drop nuclear bombs when they die. Should be a pretty interesting thing to watch. I think this is a fair occasion to throw the orcs into the mix, even though they're pretty OP, because you know what? When you have people exploding in your kingdom all the time, I don't know how much uh, strategy is gonna really help you. You know, we've done this concept before, but whenever the king died, we had a rebellion breakout. We did one where everyone in the world had death nuke, but never quite like this. This is going to be very easy to watch because what happens is going to be very apparent because it's hard to miss a nuclear explosion. I don't know if you know that. Also, I just realized I didn't change the rules. Turn the disasters off. Please leave my world, you disruptive piece of garbage. People always tell me that you can actually use the eraser tool or something like that to get rid of them, and I know that, but I prefer to yell at the clouds until they go away. That's my thing. Okay, so populations are staying pretty steady. We got a nice crisp 42 up here for the elves. They're always overachievers in the population department. No surprise, dwarves are doing bad, down at 30. I like the dwarves, okay? I feel like I gotta defend myself every time. People think I hate the dwarves. I'm just disappointed in the dwarves. I think they are cool, but they are so bad. The elves, they're also so bad. But the difference is, when you see them, it looks like they're trying. You know, it's not their fault their stats are garbage. It's not their fault they do eight damage. But look at them, they're hustling. I feel like this game needs an update, you know? We need, a, we need a balance patch. Nerf these clowns, buff these little gems, and help these boys out. Good gracious. And the humans, they're fine. You don't gotta do anything there. Maybe give them something special to make them more interesting, but at the same time, that's kinda just humans. We just kind of exist. So I didn't think too hard about the land I gave everyone other than I tried to give the orcs kind of crowded land so that they have to slow down a little bit at the beginning. I tried to put the dwarves near the mountains. The elves are over here and the humans are over here and that's pretty much it. So it's year 35. So let's check in on our kings, shall we? How old are you guys getting? You feeling healthy? 54. A diet of bread? Have you been to the doctor in a while? Might be something worth doing you know okay this guy's 54 he's happy he's an elf so he's gonna live a really long time so he doesn't got anything to worry about practically a teenager still this guy favorite foods burgers i don't know man we're going for a long life here do you know do you know about this trait you know some people you know you meet them in your day-to-day -day life they're completely unaware of their own flaws you know they think they're perfect but in reality they will literally kill everyone around them with a nuclear explosion if they're not careful but hey he's happy and he likes fish so good for him i forget which race has the shortest lifespan is it the orcs or is it the dwarves or is it the humans i really should know that but i always forget look at this silly little island out here with just a teeny little patch of corrupted i wonder if anyone will come over here Oh, whoa, we just lost the orc king. From what? We just checked up on him. I guess he had one too many burgers, huh? All right, well, rules are rules. Let's go ahead and give that new king his medicine. There you go. 34 years old and you like meat? All right, hopefully you live past the age of like 60 like the other guy. I wonder what happened there. In the middle of his town too, right in the middle of the village. I'm gonna assume he did not know he was gonna make an explosion when he died. Otherwise, I would hope he would go, I don't know, to the edge of town, not to the very center of town. It's a pretty big hit to their population for how early this is. Look, they were right next to the elves for a bit there, but now they're down by like 50. They might slow the orcs down quite a bit there and give someone else a chance. Is this king part of the army? Okay, no, he just, he was just hanging out with the army. What a good guy. Don't you go to war though, dude. Although that might be good. Oh, we just lost another one. The human one. Dude, what What are you guys doing? It's been 50 years. Ooh, elves just declared war on the humans. You gotta get them their new nuclear king. All right, he's sitting right there on the front lines. Hey, you better run. You better back it up. Okay, we just also had the dwarves declare war on the 
orcs. Very, very interesting. The dwarves have a lot more population right now, and I'm not sure if the orc army got destroyed in that nuclear explosion, but if they did, and they have less troops, it uh, looks like it doesn't matter anyway, because the dwarves are really weak compared to the orcs. Look at that. Oh, we lost the other orc king. Bro, what, what are you guys doing? Rules are rules. Should we just follow this guy around and see what it is that causes him to die? They're the one race that has regeneration. You'd think that they would be, like, surviving a lot longer. Okay, the dwarves are not doing well. Look at these guys. You must feel really strong when you go up against the elves in a war, you know? You walk in there with an army of five people and kill 20 elves because they just can't do any damage to you. It's almost too easy. Makes you feel kind of bad, doesn't it? Do you feel guilty for your actions? Nine kills with a wooden stick. You like to see the world burn, do you? All right, well, at least you're happy. So the elf king has not died at all. I think it's the only one. No, 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 this guy's still here. 86, okay. Good for you. So the orcs have lost two, humans have lost one, and the elves and dwarves have not lost any yet. So good for them. Also, look at this sneaky little human base back here. Look at that. They just hopped over the canal here and decided to sneak right behind them. All right. Well, there we go. I was just going to say that the dwarf king's going to die any second. All right. That's probably going to be GG for the dwarves. As expected, they're the first to go. And the elves have decided to attack. This one elf guy has decided to attack the furthest possible spot because the elves are overachievers. And I kind of respect it, you know? Okay. I think that's official the end of the dwarves rest in peace you did your best or I don't really know if you did your best was that your best is that the best you have it might be if it is then I really hope that you get buffed soon because if that's the best you've got you need a little help okay we got orcs declaring war on the humans Oh, we just lost another orc king. That's three orc kings. This is a weirdly effective way to balance the orcs, because for whatever reason, their kings just rapidly die for some unknown reason. Okay, the orcs are kind of hanging out on the edges. They don't have that much army left, but the humans seem to have a lot of army left, despite their war with the elves. I don't think the elves really did that much damage to them. Look at this. They're up here at 270. Oh, elves and humans just declared peace. Ah, that's gotta be a nice relief for you, huh? You can go back to harvesting your lemon trees. 103 years old, 26 kids, and they got a nice wood stick. Kind of respect them. I would love to see the elves stay in this for a while, but the humans... Oh, the human king has just been slain right on the front lines. Okay, there's the new one. Good for you. Let's check on the orc king because I've feel like he's gonna blow up any second, you know? With how it's been going. Are you gonna blow up, dude? You thinking about it? Please don't. There are kids here. Oh, the human king. I thought for a second, I was like, did the orc king just die right after I panned away from him? Can you imagine? All right, new king. I still am not sure about what's killing them. It's really unclear, but it keeps happening. And for whatever, whatever it is that's killing them is not happening to the elves. It could be old age, but it's been only 90 years and we've lost three kings on both different kingdoms. And the elf king is the same, so I do not know. The orcs are over here doing some big, big, big damage. Oh, we just lost another king. <laughs> From what? Oh, we just lost another king. Okay. My goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Explosive kings. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. All right, you two. There's no exceptions here. You blow up. And, um, that's just how it is. Oh, dude, this king is already out here on the battlefield. He's just gonna instantly die. Look at that. Boom. Why did they make him king? That doesn't seem very smart. Okay, now there's the next king down here. Dude, the poor humans. Although it kind of helps, you know, like, this big army of orcs is gonna come down here and, yep, just blow themselves up like that. It works. All right, the humans went from first place to last place pretty quick because of how many kings that blew up in rapid succession. I just want to know what your secret is, man. What is the elf king doing so right? He's just working on the farm. Is that the secret to a long and healthy life? Just a little hard work and green vegetables? Living in a nice land full of friendly lemon people look at this guy do you think you could ever be stressed with this guy living next door or in your front yard or in your house he's so attractive all right well if the elves hold on i don't know the orcs population is getting a little out of control i don't know if they can be stopped at this point they got a lot of armies and they're just kind of walking through these humans out here down to the final village don't worry the king is going to defend his people hey they made peace 
Isn't that sweet? Good for you. All right, King. All you got to do is not blow up for like a little while, all right? Because currently, if you blew up right here, that'd pretty much be the end of your civilization. So I don't know if it's the kind of thing that you can hold in like a sneeze, but please try to hold it in for a little while. How old is this Elf King at this point? 130. All right. He's getting quite old. And this Orc King has been alive for a little while. Not that long. 45 years. That's nothing. He's happy. He likes bread. Despite seeing a lot of bad things happen in front of their very eyes, their kings constantly exploding. The humans are managing to kind of pick themselves back up. They're up to, well, not that good. They're up to 60-ish, and they're taking back their old land. Ooh, the orcs just declare war on the elves. Okay, well, that king that's lived 140-something years, are they going to find him? Are they going to hunt him down? Where is he? He's way back here. Okay. Ooh, yikes, look at this. Look at them go, dude. Please. Have mercy. That's also like a absurdly big farm for how much of it they're using. Let me guess, that was the king's idea. All right, let's follow him. Let's see how he reacts to this. The orcs are coming in. Oh, there he is. He's getting in the fight. He's going to blow them all up. Ooh. Okay. Well, he took like their whole army with him, but they're just so big and advanced that I don't know how much that's really going to do. But regardless, rules are rules. The next king gets cursed with death nuke. I definitely thought the humans were going to get eliminated before the elves because of how bad they looked, but declaring peace at the last second is such a timeless strategy. Works every time. And now the elves are going to die unless they also declare. Ooh, another king down. Another one ready. It's a big deal. What the? Oh, the human king just blew up his own village. Bummer, dude. All right, the new one's back here, I think. Yep, there you go. Why did you die over here? Did you die, like, sitting on the beach, enjoying a nice lemonade? Jeez. I was gonna say, it's a pretty big deal to eliminate a kingdom like that because you send in your whole army and then they always blow up. So you have to send in multiple armies. And so the fact that the, the, fact that the orcs are able to just wipe out the elves that easily, despite having their entire army blown up multiple times. And I mean, yeah, I know it blows up part of the elf village at the same time, but I feel like it's more detrimental to lose, I don't know, 50 good soldiers at once. But what do I know? Okay, elves are officially gone and orcs just declared war on the humans. I think that's probably gonna be a uh, GG. The orcs managed to overcome their own king blowing up their village like four different times. And um, their army's getting blown up multiple times and getting bad starting land. And there we go. They just lost another army, but they've got a backup one. This is the army you, you want to be on. It's the backup army. Trust me. And there we go. That's GG. The orcs win. They can't even be stopped by nukes. But I tell you what, there's something we haven't done in a long time. That's just blow up the world at the end, you know? Why don't we ever do this? It's one of my favorite things to do back in the day. Just blow up the world at the end. Ah, all right, well, congratulations, orcs. You did so good. Be proud of yourself, you little sweaty tryhards. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Pretty simple idea. I'm just itching for a new update. I have lots of ideas lined up, but I just, I want some new content to mess around with. So hopefully we get a new update soon. I know the developer's been teasing it for a little while, but hopefully uh, we get it in the next maybe month or so. That would be nice because some new content would be pretty sweet. But regardless, smash like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe maybe if you liked the video and you haven't subscribed yet and uh yeah thank you for watching i will see you guys next time Bye bye